What's going on guys? Frank here with, uh, <clears throat> I don't really know what I'm going to call it yet, but we'll get back to that. Anyways, um, a couple people were asking me to do a couple uh, videos and tutorials and whatnot on the kayak. I just got done installing the new Lowrance, um for HDI on this guy. Um, I will start from the front. I know a lot of people have videos on these things, so I'll start from the front. Um, <clears throat> right here's my battery connection, and uh, here's my battery box. Um, I can do a video on this later if you guys want. Um, but anyways, I used a uh, construction grade, um, whatever the heck this is called, adhesive here, or Velcro. <clears throat> um, but anyways, battery box has um, car battery charger there and then two USB ports. <clears throat> I got to put some uh, marine goop on here. But anyways, obviously connects here to my thing and then I have the Velcro down in there. Um, right here is another spot for a piece of metal that I stick here and my piece of metal is missing right now I don't know where it's at but it holds my light right here so that way when I am night fishing I can see I am eventually gonna put some LED lights on the front and side here um, obviously this thing comes with a Scotty gear mount or a rod holder um, I use from time to time not really all that much got my uh, fingernail clippers here pliers um, for the mount I use that West Marine through hole here because the Hobie one was super stupid expensive um, I added this it's just um, cabinet like foam that I had put double-sided adhesive uh, spray that way um, <clears throat> you know it sticks here and you know it's nice and comfortable on my feet when my feet are riding there instead of having hot surface this doesn't really get that hot which is nice um, in here I keep a rod leash that goes up there um, I have these here that are for my side lights when I'm fishing at night Got one more that's my Carolina beads from last time I went out you know they each oops came off Anyways, both go there, you know, plenty of light for me to see, and I uh, really don't really stick anything else in there, but uh, for the time being, we'll leave that open. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, for the seat part, <clears throat> what I did was I got a uh, Cabela's, I, I used two different options. One, the first option is for a turkey seat, which I got from a guy, and I'll add it in the bottom of the link. This is for typically when I use, you know, when and it's spawn fishing where I'm looking for the bass on top so I can get a little higher elevation. A little um, harder to be stable on this thing. But pretty much this will go here, right on top of it. And I'll connect it down and through right here and there. Um, so, you know, I like to have this when I'm fishing uh, for the spawn so I'm sight fishing and that's obviously up here in Arizona there is some uh, fish still on the bed but <clears throat> not too many anyways for now I got the seat and I got this seat um, obviously because the seat sucks for these things it's an ascend seat which is I guess totally weird but then I got a stadium seat which fits let me set this down so I can see this it. Anyways, let's take it through here. And this sits back into here and that way I have an, a little bit higher elevation of the seat, but um, a lot more stable than sitting on that guy. Alright, next uh, moving back. Um, I made this PVC rod holder um, just because I bring like too many damn rods honestly but uh 
what I'm gonna do, like I said, my eventual video, I just finally ordered them on Amazon. I will have the crab floats that are gonna come out here on each side and I'm only going to stick them out real short here and uh, that way I can definitely be um, a lot more stable for when I'm fishing <clears throat> on this thing because it is this I can't stand on it you know I'm not that big of a guy I'm 5'10 and about 200 pounds but uh, it's still a little uneasy so back here I made this uh, crate and got the idea because obviously it's really difficult to fit one of these things in the back of a uh, Field and Stream Eagle Talon 12. So what I did was I took some PVC and I just wrapped it with um, the pool noodle here, zip tie, and uh, you know it stays on there with a couple canopy ties. And then I put three rod holder on each side and. Um, it works pretty good so <clears throat> eventually like I said I still have to make a mount right here or maybe here I'm not sure but I'm gonna make a mount for the GoPro so that I can start getting a little bit better video footage in the back here normally I keep this up front with me this is all my plastics <clears throat> and then uh, this isn't really normally in there but um, keep a couple you know too much tackle really but you know never know what I'm gonna be throwing jerk baits crank baits uh, looks like sinkers and stuff like that you know sinkos swim baits more swim baits hard tackle and top water in there um, and then underneath here um, I keep my PFP I really hardly wear it which I should but it's on there just because I have to have it. And then in my dry bag here is some extra canopy ties. And also, um, I always have a first aid kit with me. So, you know, can't ever predict what's gonna happen out there. Um, and some future things that I am gonna be doing is, I have a guy that's gonna help me. We're going to, uh, mount a trolling motor back here and do the whole trolling motor mount thing back here it's just very hard because of this piece how this is here so i have to custom build a uh, bracket right here and then obviously a bracket will fit here for the thing and then i'm going to do a line hole through and it's going to come out the side here and it's going to connect to that um, my foot pedals but you know it's a fun kayak and I enjoy the heck out of it so if you guys have any questions just let me know and I'll get back to you as fast as I possibly can like I said I'm gonna do a lot better at making videos not only fishing videos I hunt and uh, bow hunt for the most part coyote hunt and do all of anything you pretty much think of out here and put a lot of footage of some uh, cool looking animals and you know all that good stuff so Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys, like I said, have any questions, you know, let me know and I'll get back to you, and subscribe. Alright.